pair is going to be Steve Torrance and Larry Dixon. But let's go to Dave Reef with a Lincoln Tech Fix It Pit Report. Well, first off, Doug, do you know what happened to make the shoots come out? I really don't. We had a malfunction earlier in qualifying. You know, this is a team that really spent the winter really rebuilding these cars, making them perfect. We had that malfunction, replaced everything on the car, and then never had the issue again in qualifying. So we felt like we had found it somewhere in that harness. But apparently we didn't, you know. For a team to go out there and run fastest in the session in the first round, it shows a lot about what this dough racing team is about. How do you fix it from here quickly? Well, we need to go back. We need to do a little testing. We need to go through the entire car. We obviously have a gremlin somewhere. Started was looking like it was going to be that kind of day for him. He was a top half qualifier. Had lane choice against Schumacher, but a very disappointing way to step him out of the Gator Nationals. Well, with Larry Dixon up here and Steve Torrance. Torrance is 0-6, racing the top fuel champion, Larry Dixon. You know, Larry Dixon, second-generation driver. His dad was around for a number of years. I'm sure you raced him, a, his dad, a few times in your day, didn't you, Don? I sure did. He was a great guy. And uh, I did one of my first TV commentators the day he won the race at uh, Pomona. And he, Larry's son rode back in the car with him down the return road, just a little baby, you know. Yeah, we got pictures of him in the winter circle. He may be getting to another winter circle today as he does a nice job getting around Steve Torrance. 386 at 314 miles per hour will advance him into the semifinals. Yes, Schumacher, Dixon, semifinals, and uh, we're talking Dixon being eight and three. Taking another look at the run, you saw Torrance spin the tires. Did a nice job pedaling that car, didn't oh, he, Don, to get to recover? Excellent recovery there. Just a little puff. That's so hard to do. We're talking milliseconds now. Yep, but unfortunately for Steve, uh, Larry Dixon was not spinning the tires, and he just pulled away at that point. But looking ahead to the semifinals, Dixon and Schumacher. Dixon, 8-3 and three last season against him? Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is, let me tell you, that Allen Abbey race team's good. And Larry Dixon, you know, and the one thing I know you like about him, too, Don, that I love is he's just a historian of this race. He knows it all the way back to the day. And I can remember, you know, my, I don't know if I ever told you, my very first drag race that I can remember was the 63 Winter Nationals. I was sitting in the grandstand. And, remember, and the reason I can remember that race was because you had the car with the wing on top of the engine that was the only one out there with it. Now, I remember that well. When In the final, I looked out there, and Art Malone was about a car left ahead of me, and I had this heavy smoke. And I said, boy, Wayne, go to work. And sure <laughs> enough, it did dry it up, shot right out in front of him. 